The hook I am using is a Dairiki 700 in size 8. For weight, twist on about 10 to 20 wraps of 0.015 sized lead wire. Push the wraps together and put towards the back of the hook shank. The thread I am using is Vivis 140 Power Thread in white. Start your thread in front of the lead wraps and wrap over the lead back and forth to smooth it out. Take a plume of white marabou and measure it out to about the length of the hook. Then tie it on top of the hook shank and make a few wraps underneath the feather to help keep it angled straight. Now snip off the waist and make a few wraps to smooth out the hook. Take a few strands of crystal flash and tie them in on the side of the marabou so they extend out about as long as the marabou. Then pull the strands around to the other side of the marabou and tie in on that side as well. Then cut the flash at the same length as the other side. I like adding a bit of head cement to the waist at this point to keep everything from spinning. Now tie in some small size silver wire and set aside on your material clip. Then tie in some pearl estaz and start wrapping up the hook shank with touching wraps while stroking the fibers rearward with each wrap. Once you reach up close to the eye of the hook, capture the estaz with a few wraps and trim off the waist. Pull all the fibers rearward and wrap up over the estaz a bit. Now measure out a white grizzly hackle feather. Make sure the feather fibers reach out to about half past the hook point. Strip off some of the feather and clip off the rest. Then tie it in. Now start wrapping around the fly. Wrap twice around the top of the hook, then start pommering down the hook shank until you reach the tail. Then capture the feather with your wire. Now wrap the wire through the hackle, wiggling the wire to ensure not to trap as many of the feather's fibers. Once you reach the head of the fly, capture the wire with your thread and helicopter it off. Now make a few wraps to clean up the head and smooth it out. Snip off the excess feather and then whip finish your fly. To finish the fly and make it more durable, I like adding this UV resin to the head of the fly. It's called Bone Dry and it's made by Solarevs. After you cure it, the fly will be very durable and also have a nice glossy finish at the head. As you can see, the fly's tail moves a bit. Malibu really has some great action under the water. Even with slower and steady strips, there is still movement. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section for a list of materials I used on this fly. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.